is up guys, Casual K Kyle here, starting up a vaping channel here, and I just wanted to show you guys, all of you casual vapors out there who just want to blow clouds, you want to do some fun stuff, this is probably the channel for you, I'm not going to go super, I don't know what you want to call it, yeah, super into being technical, I'm not going to be very technical, that's what I meant to say, I'm not going to be very technical, but today, we have for you the Stingray clone I got this off fast tech and um, all you clone haters out there I don't like the fact that they steal logos it's my dog barks at everything I'm not gonna wait for him to stop maybe I will no he's done <laughs> all right guys so what I like about this Stingray is that it's got this black coating on it, and uh, it's really nice. It doesn't affect the voltage drop at all. It's it's really nice with the uh, with the black coating. They're calling it black chrome, but I, I don't know what material they're using on this. If it's some kind of like paint or something, it it's a coating, and it looks really cool. And it has this little accent like the Stingray has. It's just, I'm just pretty much going off what the Stingray made. Where they have this accent of copper going on. And it's a full on copper tube inside. And uh, yeah, we'll dive down and we'll check out the little tidbits of this. Alright, so now that we're all up close and personal with this thing. I'm going to take it apart for you guys. Um, I'm running it on a Vertex RDA with a nice stone drip tip. Uh, I can't remember what company made the stone drip tip, but it is very cool. I think it's pretty much local for my area. I am in California, so there's that. I'm going to screw everything off, and uh, we'll see all the little, little knickknacks they got going on in here. All right, guys, so I got it all taken apart, and it looks pretty good here. It out also... What I don't have here with me is when you uh, screw these guys back together. By the way, the threads, they're pretty good. Uh, I don't, I haven't heard any real squeaking with them, and they're not, they're a little bit wobbly, but they're not that bad, actually. I was pretty surprised with this clone uh, on how good the quality actually was. But the engraving is pretty nice. Uh, that is upside down for you. Engraving is pretty nice on this. No, no, it is this way. It is supposed to be this way. And uh, my camera is pretty bad with focusing with this lighting. But, as you can see, it's got this nice, nice little stingray where it says stingray up on the top right here. And it looks pretty fancy. You guys have probably all seen a stingray. Also, this one came with a little fake serial number. I got 207. If you can read that, you probably can't, but it's 207 on there. And what you do here is you got a little lock ring here. It feels like it's like aluminum, honestly. It doesn't feel like it's stainless steel, or it's very thin stainless steel. So you just screw this guy all the way up on here. And right here you have a magnetic switch. I'm not really gonna take it apart. When I first received this, this button was very crunchy, but I just sat around for a little while, just doing this. As you can hear, it still crunches every once in a while. But I just fired it, just like this, just in my hand for a while, and it made it a lot better. And it's not like you're going to collapse a spring or anything, because it's just two magnets inside here. It's got a copper contact, where the original one has silver-plated contacts. Silver-plated copper contacts, my bad. It has this Delrin insulator right here, and this nice, which is now patinaed, but this nice little copper accent on the button. It wasn't needed, but it looks very cool. And it's all copper in there. And the threads on here, this is actually your battery venting. Right here, these little, these little canals in here are your venting for your battery. And I've blown through it. I'll do it right here. You just, you just screw this guy on. This is also how you adjust for your battery rattle. You just screw this guy in until, um, until it uh, snug fits in there. But of course, it'll go all the way in right now. It'll never do that with the battery in it, but it's doing that for me right now. And you just fire it like that, and it works. And uh, battery just sits in that tube right there. I have a Sony VCT5 sitting right here. I'm gonna pop this guy in here, and you see it fits all snug. There's not much of uh, rattle room for the battery, so that fits pretty nice. And um, the top cap here 
It's got this, uh, again, with the copper accents. I'm loving that. And it's got a copper contact again instead of a silver-plated copper contact. And uh, a Delrin, black Delrin insulator right up here. And this is a floating pin. As you can see, I can knock it out. It's hard to show. I can knock it out, and I can push it back in. So when you take your Addy and you screw it on there, you can see, hopefully, I don't know how to angle this. Let's see if we can see the action commencing. All right. Maybe not, but it, uh, yeah, it went out. And now it's in there and it's totally making contact. It, I've never had problems with misfiring on this device and it runs pretty good. So you always have to make sure when you have copper threading, which this definitely does, it's all copper threading, uh, which is nice for voltage drop, but copper is very soft and you can strip these threads very easily. So always make sure, I'm gonna unscrew this again so I can show you. When you're screwing on copper, don't just start screwing it in. You gotta go on this and back it off until you hear that click. I don't know if you heard that. Or like here, where it clicks in. And you can hear it. Uh, where is it? Uh, I just lost it. Oh, there it is. It just clipped in. And it slides in normally. Never force it. Never force any threads on any device, actually. And see how I just did that? I have my battery in here. And your battery's just sitting in here. Pops in. You have your little uh, switch here. Your firing button. You uh, screw it in and keep on screwing until it's snugged in there. Nice and snug. And we have vapors all day. It's actually going to be a really hot one because the uh, resistance I have, what I have going on in here, which is actually dry now, is I have a, let me take the whole thing off. Urgh. I have a, that looks gross, I have a parallel coil, six wraps, um, in here, which is re reading out at 0.17, which is pretty nice, it's pretty cloud chaser if I don't do so myself, so, um, yeah, we'll just dive up, we'll see how well and how hard this shit vapes, I don't have a voltmeter on me to show actually the voltage drop on this, which I am very interested to find out what the voltage drop is on this, because, it is a clone, so it's probably uh, worse than the original, but especially because it's copper contacts instead of silver plated copper. Um, but yeah, oh yeah, also I forgot to show you the locking switch is just a ring sitting on here on the threads, and it just goes right down and locks it, and that shit ain't firing for days. Uh, it's very safe. I've put it in my pocket. It's never unscrewed on me. I just, I just screw it on that pretty good, and when I do that, this thing tends to want to screw it back in, so it just it just keeps it all nice and locked. It, it's pretty nice. And I've never had problems. I know some people have said that their locking ring only um, threads one way. Mine actually doesn't, but I think that's pure luck that mine is doing that. But we'll go up and we'll see how well she vapes. All right, guys, I'm back on the original screen, and we are going to see how good this vapes. Let me give you a little bit. It is a 0.17 ohm coil, so it is very low ohm, very low. So this is going to blow some good clouds. It's going to hit hard no matter what I do, pretty much. I could pop this on a Chiyu clone piece of crap with stainless steel uh, contacts on it, and it would still it would still give me a good lung hit. But we'll just we'll just see how this is. So I'm going to do the inhale, exhale, so I can actually take this in because this is a lot to take in. What am I doing? What am I doing? Oh, that was dry as mofo. Oh, God. Let me just put some drippity duties on here. If you're wondering what juice I'm using, I'm using um, Custom 4YR. Custom is a company. Uh, 4YR is just uh, my go-to flavor. I have a big bottle sitting right over here, and I've been putting it in these little smaller bottles, which this is the second one I've gone through. I still like the flavor. I can't back the camera enough. 
It's it's over there. I'll try I'll try sitting back a little bit. Maybe that'll help out a little bit. Don't worry guys, I'm wearing pants. So it blows some pretty good clouds, if I do say so myself. Um, I'm very impressed with this Vertex also. I'm going to do a review on this Vertex next because it <clears throat> it's pretty good. And I haven't seen that many reviews on it. And I am liking it a lot. I like it a lot. I really do. And uh, it's a nice warm vape on this. It's very hot, actually. I can only take like... I don't know how many seconds, three or four that was, I think, and that's pretty maximum. You saw I'm, I'm, this whole side of the room is pretty fogged up now, and uh, I'm really liking it. Uh, this whole mod is starting to get warm just because this is so hot. Ugh, it's so hot. It's so hot. Parallel coils are amazing. I'm, i got to do a build on the parallel coils, too. So just uh, wait for that to be coming up. That'll be the next one. This is the Stingray Clone off Fast Tech. It's the black version. Uh, I, I don't know where it came. It's not an infinite. Um, I know that for sure because infinite has a solid one with a kick ring. This one has an 18350, 18500, and 18650 all ringed together plus the kick ring. So it's probably um, tobacco or something like that. I would I would think it's probably something like that. Although it didn't have any logos on the package. It was just a white box. It came in this slim, uh, this slim, this slim box. It came in this little uh, box that was square that went around this, and it had nothing on it. It maybe had like a uh, a little barcode on the bottom, but that was about it. It had no logo, so I was like, Ooh, who made this? I have no idea who made it. Uh, if you guys know, based off of what I have here, of what who made it, that would be great. I'll put it in the description if someone actually does, but, uh, yeah, it's pretty good. I, other people have been, it's hit or miss on clones sometimes, guys. You just gotta know that when you're paying really low dollars for this, this was 25 30 after shipping, I believe, and it took about two weeks to get here because it's from Fast Tech, and, um, that's actually pretty fast. They can take about a month or two sometimes, depending on how busy their mail is over in China, which their mail in China kind of blows. It's pretty much they ship it over to their mail in like a day, and then the mail holds it for like a week, and then it gets over here, and they have to ship it over by boat. That takes about a week. And then they have to ship it across the country from the East Coast. <laughs> Maybe they take it over the Pacific and they take it to California. That might have been why it, it's quicker for me. If you're over on the East Coast, it might be... Yeah, you know what? It's probably... Mm -hmm. They take it across the Pacific, probably. And for those of you on the East Coast, it probably takes longer for fast tech. But here in California, it, it takes... You know, it's all right. So yeah, that's all I got for you guys for this one. If you enjoyed, please leave a like. If you want to see more, subscribe. I don't care. Whatever. Let's keep on casually vaping all day and let's not smoke those damn butts.